Rosenbridge is going to be one of the most important things coming up for Ergo, and it has a lot of great things that it's going to do for Ergo. It's going to increase the liquidity on Ergo. It has the potential to increase the marketing by leveraging other chains marketing. So if Ergo bridges to Cardano, we're going to be able to, you know, use Cardano's liquidity and Cardano's marketing and put our name next to theirs. And the Rosenbridge also has a lot of technological upgrades to change the way that we view bridges in crypto. So you know, the security aspects of it, the scalability aspects of it. Let's talk about all these things and let's talk about the framework of how the Rosenbridge is going to work. The simple framework of how the Rosenbridge is gonna work is let's take Ergo and let's take Cardano. Let's say you wanna send Erg from Ergo to Cardano. How's this gonna happen? What's the basic framework of how this situation works? Essentially, you have a couple parts. You have the Ergo blockchain, you have a guard box. I think it's basically like a multi-sig wallet on the Ergo blockchain. Then you have off-chain validators. They are watchers layer one and guards layer two verification. And then over here on your Cardano side, you have the Cardano blockchain and you have a multi-sig wallet. Um, so whenever you know the Rosenbridge connects from Ergo to another chain, that chain has to have a multi-sig wallet and Ergo's multi-sig wallet is essentially called like a guard box. Now what's gonna happen is, say you wanna send Erg from Ergo to Cardano, you're gonna take your Erg in your wallet and you're gonna send it to this guard box or this like multi-sig wallet on the Ergo blockchain. This box, this multi-sig wallet is looked at by the watchers 24 seven. They're monitoring when transactions come into it. And when they see your transaction pop into it, they will start work. They will start verifying that transaction. And when that transaction is verified and approved, they will open what's called an event box on the Ergo side of the blockchain. So these event boxes are basically like a UTXO. That's how Ergo works and Bitcoin works and Cardano works. But they're gonna open this UTXO as an approved event box. That's the watcher's whole job. That's the first layer of verification. They see the transaction that you've made, they verify it, put it open an event box on the Ergo blockchain as an approved event box, and then they're done. Now the second layer of verification comes in where you have the guards. The guards are another off-chain verification system, and they look at event boxes and verify that that transaction is correct, and then they send it to the multi-sig wallet on the other chain. So. Verification one is the watchers looking at the you know, multi-sig wallet on the Ergo side, verifying that transaction and opening an event box. The guards are the second layer of verification, looking at these approved event boxes that have already been verified, verifying them again and sending them to the multi-sig wallet on the Cardano or other chain side. Once that gets you know, sent to this multi-sig multi, multi uh, wallet on the other side, they will mint out your R Erg or whatever you know, to synthetic version of Ergo that you have on now on the Cardano side. And they will verify that whatever Erg you sent to that multi-sig wallet is now minted out to your wallet or whoever's wallet it's supposed to be at, closing the loop, closing the verification process and ensuring that the Erg that you minted on this side is now minted as our Erg into another wallet on the Cardano side. The same thing happens if you wanna do it in reverse. Let's say you wanna send some ADA from Cardano to Ergo. Um, you know, say you have a, a Cardano wallet and an Ergo wallet, and you wanna send some ADA from your Cardano wallet to your Ergo wallet. It's the same thing, but in reverse. You will take your Cardano wallet, send your ADA from that, your wallet to the Cardano multi-sig wallet for the Rosenbridge address. Then watchers are gonna be watching this multi-sig wallet. They will verify that transaction and open an event box on the Ergo side. Once that happens, we have the second layer of verification with the guards. The guards are gonna look at these event boxes, verify those transactions, and then make sure that they are sent to the Ergo uh, guard box or Ergo multi-sig wallet. They're going to view that, make sure that your, your ADA is there as like R ADA or whatever version of ADA it is. They will verify it gets there and then they will also verify that it goes from there to your Ergo wallet or whatever Ergo wallet you're sending ADA to. Once all those things are verified, you have two layers of verification and it verifies that it goes from the event box to the uh, multi-sig wallet on the Ergo side and then to your wallet, the transaction is complete and all the verification is done. So now that that's kind of explained, I wanna show you some visuals just to help it out. I basically took these, just took screenshots of this awesome, awesome video made by the Ergo uh, developers. And so I'll link that video down below if you wanna watch it as well. But here are some slide pictures to kind of verify what I've been showing you. Um, so you, let's see, you have this first one, step one, and you see you're sending from a wallet to the multi-sig wallet and this blue side is gonna be like your Cardano side, the orange side is like your Ergo side. But basically you can see we're sending it from, you know, a Cardano wallet to the multi-sig wallet on the Cardano side. Step two, watchers look for the events from the multi-sig wallet. Frequencies customizable based on the blockchain or whatever they decide they want. Step three, 
the watchers are going to view and verify this transaction from the multi-sig wallet and create an event box on Ergo. Step four, watchers will create these approved event boxes and make sure that you know what has gone from your wallet to the multi-sig wallet is now ready and approved on the Ergo blockchain. Step five, guards are not gonna do the same thing for a second layer of verification. They're gonna view event boxes, approved event boxes, and verify the validity of it, that it goes from you know Cardano to these event boxes ready to be approved. The guards will then approve those event boxes and move it to a guard bank. This is a really key point right here that I did not say is that the, uh, the guards cannot do anything on their own. So it has to be a uh, uh, majority of the guards have to verify and once the majority approves, then it will be moved to the guard bank on the Ergo side. Step seven, the RADA or whatever token you're doing is submitted from that guard bank to your Ergo wallet or whatever Ergo wallet you're sending ADA to. And step eight, the guards will sit around and ensure that that has happened. Once that's done, the whole process is complete, okay? So those visuals, I put the video down below if you wanna look at that as well. But that's basically how the framework of the Rosenbridge is going to work and what makes it so cool. Now you might be wondering, why is Rosenbridge considered a better bridge? What is it doing differently? How can we trust it? Is our ERG gonna be you know, taken in a big Rosenbridge hack? Like, what is, Should we be skeptical? Should we wait a little bit? Well, the Ergo team and the Rosenbridge developers have really thought about this a lot. And there are a couple of things to know about when using the Rosenbridge. So because of the guards and the watchers and having all the event boxes on the Ergo side, security is maintained only on the Ergo side of this bridge. So let's say Ergo wanted to connect to Cardano or Ergo wanted to connect to Bitcoin. Cardano has no security aspects on its side. Bitcoin has no security aspects on its side. Ergo has taken the role of maintaining all security on the Ergo side, which you know keeps this bridge more secure. There's only one layer of security to ma maintain and make sure it's connected properly instead of having you know security aspects on the Cardano and Ergo side and making sure developers on both sides have that security locked in. This way, we don't have to learn new security for every chain that we're connecting to. Like if you want to connect to Cardano, you have to know security aspects there or connect to the Bitcoin, you have to know security aspects there or connect to like Tezos, you have to know security aspects there. Here, Ergo knows that the Rosenbridge is only is maintaining security on the Ergo side and we do it once, we do it correct and then it's done. The second cool thing is that the verification system has two levels. So we have watchers and we have guards. Both are basically approving the same thing at different heights, different block heights, different levels. And this allows for not only it to be verified once, but twice at different heights and allow more security. And not only that, but you have to have multiple guards approve, a majority approve. So we have a lot of situations where verification is done not only once, but twice, and not only by one guard, but a majority of the guards in the off-chain verification systems. This is allowing to increase security from transactions while also increasing security by keeping the security and the event boxes on one side. More great things about the Rosenbridge include its liquidity. You know, whatever, Ergo doesn't have to be the biggest, most popular marketing chain, but if it's taking the time to connect to things like Bitcoin, which is arguably the most well-known crypto chain or porting to Cardano or porting to Ethereum or Ethereum L2s, Ergo can leverage the marketing that these chains have, the NFTs that they have, the coins that they have, the utility that they have, and Ergo itself doesn't necessarily need to have like all the dApps that they have or all the infrastructure. So Rosenbridge has a lot of great functionality for the users of Ergo, but it also has a lot of functionality for the users of these other chains. Uh, you know, Ergo is novel in its technology, being like a third generation blockchain has a lot of cool things like Babel fees, um, it has storage rent, it has non-interactive proof of proof of works. Not a lot of other blockchains have this. Um, and when we port to other chains, like port to a Bitcoin that doesn't have Demerage, it might bring people over and interest them into the concepts that Ergo has. While we're both UTXO blockchains, Ergo is much more like a, an, an iteration of Bitcoin further down the line. So if Ergo can take the time to connect to things like Cardano, connect to things like Bitcoin, it has potential to increase its adoption, increase its users without doing a ton of like marketing uh, tactics. The Rosenbridge has a great marketing aspect built into it. And this kind of goes in with the core fundamentals of Ergo. Like we're letting technology speak and then they let people like me in the community do a lot of marketing for them on YouTube and Twitter. And you know, we trade NFTs, we buy tokens, we cover what's going on. Um, but the Rosenbridge is gonna give us a lot, of talk, lot to talk about. It's gonna give a lot of other people a lot of things to talk about. Bitcoin people, Cardano people, Ethereum people can 
you know, if the Rosen Bridge is ported from Ergo to there, then they can talk about how the Rosen Bridge is affecting their chain. It'll increase users, increase visibility, increase adoption. It'll change the game for what Bridge is currently doing and kind of like the reputation. And I do think the Rosen Bridge has a lot of different unique aspects that it's bringing to Bridges in crypto. When I think this will be really important going into the future. Another thing that's really exciting is, I'm not 100% how this would work, but right now, if you are not a miner of Ergo, you're not really earning that inflation on the token. But one thing that's gonna be really cool is if you are an Ergo holder and maybe you wanna earn some staking rewards and say we're ported Rosenbridge to Cardano, you could probably take that Erg that you have, bridge it to Cardano, change it into ADA, and then start staking and earn some rewards. And then whenever you wanna bring it back to Ergo as Erg, you take all your ADA, you take all your ADA staking rewards, switch it back to Erg, cross it back over the, the Rosen Bridge and bring it back to Ergo. And now you've earned a little bit of token inflation. So, you know, you don't necessarily have to be a miner to leverage uh, proof of stake if you're working in Ergo because Ergo is proof of work, but a lot of different concepts, a lot of different ideas that can happen with the Rosenbridge. And I guarantee you, I don't even know all the aspects of how it's going to help us and what it's going to do. You know, I mean, if you want to leverage Ethereum DeFi, it's possible. If you want to leverage Bitcoin ordinals, it's possible, or Cardano staking, it's possible. So, really excited what the Rosenbridge has to offer for Ergo and its community. The last major thing that I think is going to be really interesting about the Rosenbridge is that I think we'll see a lot of cross-chain tokens, cross-chain projects, and cross-chain NF cross NFTs. So right now, Cardano has a lot more DeFi infrastructure than Ergo. And like you can see this also in Ergo, we have Spectrum Finance. They're already talking about bridging to Cardano and having you know a DApp on both chains. I think we'll see a lot of like, especially from Cardano, a lot of Cardano DApps like Lenify, Tap Tools, stuff like that build a product on Cardano, and then via the Rosenbridge, try and also build another product on Ergo. I don't even know if the Rosen Rosenbridge, like what the use case of that would be. Um, technically, they could just build a whole nother DApp on Ergo, but I think we'll see a lot of this interchange where you don't really have L1-based DApps, but now you have blockchain-based DApps that decide which L1s they want to port to. So this is a novel idea. I'm not really sure how it's going to work, but I wouldn't be surprised to see something like Lenify, Tap Tools, um, and other DEXs or lending protocols beyond Cardano and Ergo at the same time. I know Spectrum Finance is trying to do that, and it would not surprise me to see that. All right. This is my Rosenbridge video. Really excited for what's to come for it, and I think we're getting pretty close. I know they're doing a lot of testing on mainnet, private mainnet testing. Hopefully, soon we'll get into public mainnet testing um, or you know, just get the whole thing out and everyone can start using it. I'll probably be a little skeptical at first, but it's a very exciting time for Ergo and I think it'll be great for our ecosystem, all right? Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Hopefully I provided some value and we'll see you in the next one.